Hey, hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stylized hand using Blender software. In this video, we are also going to learn how we can create accessories for this stylized hand, uh, like watch or uh, t-shirt or cloth, whatever. Okay, so let's start this video and let's learn how, how to create these elements, hand, stylized watch or clothes. And one more thing, you can follow me on Instagram, link will be in description. So follow me and you can tag uh, your work uh, also so i can see your work let's get started now i will create whole new scene in the bottom side you can see all the keys which i'm pressing and, <coughs> and uh, in advance sorry for the language so first i will create the hand and after that i will show you how we can create some accessories for the hand uh, to create a hand it's quite simple uh, first, we can use a reference image. Uh, press Shift A. Uh, of course, definitely you can see um, keys uh, in the bottom. So I'm not going to say uh, uh, about which key you have to press again and again. But here we can see first add a reference image. This will be our reference image. I will just uh, simply rotate it 90 degree. this is the front view uh, first add a cube and go to the edit mode and make sure you select whole cube to select the whole cube press a and then press m and merge on uh, the at the center now we only have one vertices here if i hide this image here you can see we have this little uh, vertices so this will uh, help us in creating the uh, hand let me bring back the uh, reference image select the vertices which we have uh, created and go to the modifier add a skin modifier then add a subdivision make sure you are in this uh, sequence after this go to the edit mode and now we just have to follow the image uh, the reference okay press g and i'm shifting this cube here and to increase the size press command a or control a in case of windows and i also want to see behind the object or the model which we are creating so go to the x remote for x remote press option z or alt z in windows case and then uh, select the vertices press e to extend it like this that's it uh, with the e we extend the vertices and with the g we are able to uh, move everything so make sure you know the basic commands um, but still i'm telling you the basic commands here and here you can see this vertices has some kind of circle so it's a root uh, vertices so what i can do i can select this bottom vertices and in modifier i can make this as a uh, mark as a root now this vertices has this uh, circle uh, now let me uh, create the hand properly just simply press E and follow this uh, uh, reference image. That's all I'm doing. I'm just following this reference image, nothing else. And here we go. This is our hand. If I'm going out of the X-ray mode, <laughs> this kind of result we are getting. Um, let's back. Uh, let's again go to the X-ray mode by pressing uh, Option Z. Uh, now, what I can do? I can uh, change the size of these uh, fingers by selecting the vertices. Press Shift. Select the pinky finger vertices. All the finger vertices. Basically, select all the finger vertices and uh, decrease the size of. Uh, the mass so do to do that press command a and here you can see i'm uh, decreasing the size like this and if i go out of the x mode here you can see this is our hand now uh, we just need to adjust these things that's all so start adjusting it by selecting each vertices Uh, 
and here you can see this is our hand definitely it's um, uh, ready almost uh, i'm happy with this result you know, for the tutorial of course you can spend a lot of time uh, to make it uh, more nice uh, there are a few things we can also do uh, of course i want to extend the hand so uh, select this bottom area and press e adjust all these things according to your uh, preference and i will select this middle vertices and decrease the size like this and here you can see this is our hand and uh, there are some issues with the thumb i think okay there are some issues with the thumb so i can go back to x-ray mode in edit i can start adjusting this thumb now start adjusting this and i think it's ready and one more thing uh, i wanted fingers to be pointy little sharp for that case what i can do i can individually select the vertices top vertices and press command a to decrease or increase the size just i will in uh, decrease the size a little bit that's it and here we go this is our stylized hand if you are satisfied with your result we can apply all the modifiers uh, all the modifiers first delete this reference image select the model which we have created and uh, one more thing i want to show you here you can see the uh, subdivision of values i can increase these subdivision values to make it more smooth okay um, just make sure uh, you don't increase this too much otherwise your uh, system can start lagging my system is not that much powerful so i will just keep it at two and then apply the skin and apply this subdivision now you can see it's created into a mesh okay so this is our hand i want to create it more smooth for that uh, use uh, space and then uh, press uh, search for the shade smooth and it's now too much smooth and it's it's looking nice there are still some issues it's just a tutorial uh, okay you can take little time and improve all these little little things when you are working on it uh, this is our hand now uh, a hand is almost created it's done okay now let me show you how you can create accessories first let's let's create a cloth for the hand or the wrist uh, go to the edit mode and then select all these uh, this area uh, down area okay and one more thing here you can see uh, uh, behind this model nothing is selected only front view is selected so I wanted uh, this uh, behind area also to, also to get selected so what I can do I can go to the x-ray mode and then I can select it and here you can see whole mesh also from behind is selected and then press shift a to duplicate now i have a duplicate of it and i want to separate it uh, so to separate it press p and uh, select this first option selection and if i go back to the object mode here you can see we have a separate uh, area and this will be my s sleeve or cloth cloth okay and one more thing i wanted uh, this um, pivot point uh, to be in the center of this object so select like the object go to, uh, go to the object and set origin and uh, click on origin to geometry now this will be in the center if i go to the uh, edit mode then select all and then press s to increase the size here you can see this is our cloth um, sometimes we wanted to create a, a thick cloth okay for that case there are various ways number one easiest way is go to the modifier and then uh, give solidify to your cloth and increase the thickness value or like this and here you can see the cloth is ready the other way is uh, very uh, simple also go to the tab mode edit mode and press all the uh, uh, model and then press uh, es and here you can see 
I'm able to create it like this so it's up on you which method you want I wanted this simple solidify method that's all and I will keep it um, big okay like this or I, no I just wanted that uh, other method method um, okay let me just have this <laughs> this simple solidify method because a lot of people are will be following this video uh, now uh, the cloth is ready and here you can see there is too much shine uh, so this shine uh, we can improve we can select this and go to these uh, particle properties uh, I no not particle properties I think it's uh, object data properties and in object data properties go to the normals and then auto smooth and there you can see it's now it's now not uh, shining so this is how we can uh, make it un uh, re reflecting <laughs> or in this uh, this is a shade smooth uh, issue sometime so cloth is ready now let's suppose we want to create a ring for the hand so what i can do i can follow the same steps select the hand go to the edit mode and go to the front view and this is the ring finger yeah go to the x-ray mode and i will select these faces and here you can see i'm selecting all these faces like this and this will be my ring uh, of of a ring shift D uh, to duplicate it and P and then a first option and now if I go back here you can see this is the ring and if I increase the size it's not working properly because the pivot point or the origin is not in the center of the ring so select the ring and go to the object and then select origin uh, to the geometry and if I now increase the size here you can see I'm able to control it properly and select the ring and go to the modifiers solid sorry solid uh, solidify and increase this size I can increase this size and this is our ring and it's too shiny so what I can do I can go to this option uh, object data properties then normals in the normal auto smooth enable this and this is our ring uh, now let let me show you how i can create the watch uh, to create the watch it's also very simple um, mm, i will select the hand let me just keep this uh, cloth little down select the hand or i can create a uh, watch also from the hand oh, sorry from the cloth so select the cloth uh, press um, uh, tab but I'm not able to see anything uh, so what I can do I'm just uh, deleting this uh, solid uh, solidify from the cloth for now go to the front view and then press tab and now we are in edit mode and now we are in extra mode now what I can do I can select this first uh, row first two rows like this and then shift D and then P to separate it and here you can see I got something uh, this kind of result and make sure the origin is in the center of the object now origin in the center of the object and increase the size like this I can keep this here somewhere like this and then select it and add a solidify and this is the band of the watch okay of course it's 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 not looking on uh, that much good but it's fine it's just practice nothing else and now um, watch has that uh, area where we see the time um, i will add a circle and then rotate it 90 degree go to the tab edit mode and then select whole circle by pressing a then press f to fill it and then e to extend it now es to make some uh, shape 
select hole and whole circle and here we go the watch is ready so this is how we create stylized hand and accessories for the hand and if, uh, i'm sure uh, this video is helpful so thank you so much for watching and uh, you can uh, create your own hands and share your work with me over the Instagram. And there is one more thing I wanted to tell you. There is no certain rule. Okay. You can uh, be creative. For example, in this case, in this case, here you can see uh, what I have done. Uh, here is just three fingers, not four. So it's not important in case of stylized uh, models that you have to create four fingers. You can create two fingers, three fingers, eight fingers, uh, do whatever you want to do. Just be creative and uh, create it. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. And one more thing I wanted to tell you. Uh, 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 it's, it's a lighting. Of course, there is no lighting in our case. So let me just create quick lighting for you guys. So what, do we, what I can do, go to the top mode top view and then add a light it's not a lighting tutorial but still i have to show you some uh, lighting uh, and here you can see this is uh, nothing is visible because there is no light the uh, the light power is very low uh, select this uh, object data property for the light and increase the power by 5000 i think it's it's fine 5000 and uh, increase the radius i don't want it sharp light top view and play with the light duplicate it and here we go this is our hand here i can see it uh, add a plane now go to tab select the uh, one word uh, edge and then ez like this select the edge uh, control b and make it around the and uh, of course now i also wanted a camera here so let me add a camera shift a and add camera now camera is there Cl click on this camera and then press n go to the view L uh, click on lock to 3d camera view and adjust it now by using mouse you can adjust it uh, here you can see this is our uh, result presently if i select this object and start applying some uh, materials uh, okay and uh, and uh, I just applied some uh, random colors, nothing else. And definitely you can play with it. And this is our stylized hand. So this is how we create stylized hand. Definitely you can uh, still play with the colors and the lights camera. So for this video, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and uh, see you in next video if you still have any other question you can ask me on comment sections and uh, that's it thank you so much and yeah if you need this uh, any other kind of tutorial you can tell me over the instagram or in comment sections bye take care see you in next video see ya bye bye